Hi, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bee Company, and I'm going to show you uh, Beadalon's new one step looper. Um, this is a kind of cool new pliers that actually does looping for you and makes eye pins. So, I have some gauges here, and the looper says that it works with. Um, 26 to 18 gauge wire. I'm going to demo on 20 gauge and 18 gauge wire. My 20 is my copper wire, my 18 gauge is my silver wire, and I'm going to demonstrate how this is done. Um, basically, the looper has a little channel right here, and that's what our wire is going to go into, and it's hard to see right there, but there's a little loop here. That's where our excess wire is going to stick out. This will work with head pins, any sort of wire. A uh, wire that's thinner than 20 gauge, um, you usually aren't going to generally make an eye pin anyway because it'll open up. So what I'm going to do to start with is use the 20 gauge wire and I'm sticking my wire in. If I don't want to cut off a lot of extra wire, I'm just going to stick it in and kind of have it hang out here. Right here, this bit right there, that is the cutters. So that's going to cut whatever wire I turn. Um, if I have a really long piece and my beads on this end, which I'll show you next, um, then I'm going to stick it through that little loop um, on the other side that I showed you. So to start with, I'm going to try to waste just a little bit of wire. And uh, this tool, the more that I use it, the more that I like it. It's really simple. It's great for earring making. So using a head pin with it, you get nice, perfect loops. Right now, there is only one size loop that it does manufacture. We've talked to Beadalon, or Beadsmith, and Beadsmith said that they um, may be manufacturing one that has interchangeable heads. So that'll be kind of cool and something to look out for. So right now, what I'm going to do is just pinch with my hands and what happens is that extra wire you can see got cut a little bit and I'm closing it and tweaking it and that's going to be my eye pin. So you can see when you first use it the eye pin doesn't get completely completely closed. What you have to do and what I have found works really well is as you're making it you're going to turn it and kind of tweak it as you're making it and turn your wire that's really going to close up that loop and make sure then that you get a nice closed eye pin. So this is with the 20 gauge wire. With the 18 gauge wire it's going to be a little bit nicer because it's a thicker wire. So I put it in there, I'm going to close it and I kind of pull the wire around and that's going to close it up. Then what I do is bring the wire back a tiny bit close it one more time and that's going to straighten out my eye pin so that way it's coming directly over. Then what I'm going to do is put on my bead and this is where I think it's actually a nicer tool because you're not actually wasting any wire this way. So here I have my bead on and here's where I think this tool really does shine. I'm going to take my wire through the looper and the whole way through that hole. So if I have a twist in my wire, I kind of won't want to go. I'm taking it right up to the bead. So my wire is sticking out and I'm going right up to the, next to the bead. So you're going to get really consistent loops. I'm going to chop. That extra wire is going to come out. That little bit of waste that I had on the front is now a big one on the back here. And I'm going to close up my loop and turn it and get my eye pin here. On my thinner seam deal, I have my 20 gauge wire. Oops. I'm going to cut just a little bit so I can put some beads on here. And just to show you how nice you can get your loops. Like I said, this is kind of fantastic for head pins. Um, if you're doing a rosary chain, this would work really well also. So I put my beads on there. It doesn't matter how long, how many beads. I'm going to stick my wire inside my looper. And put that through here. Put it the whole way up to my bead. Make sure my beads are right against that bottom jaw of this looper. And I'm going to turn. And as I turn here, I'm going to play with it just a tiny little bit to make sure that it gets nice and closed. So there's my little eye pins that I've made with my looper. Um, I did it both with the 18 gauge in the silver and with the 20 gauge in the copper. And that is the one step looper. Um, it's really cost effective. It's only 30 bucks um, from us. And you can stop by your local Potomac Bee Company store or check out the beeco.com um, to purchase one. They were on back order for a while, but we just got some more in and they've been selling really fast and really well. So that's the looper. Hopefully you like it. Um, it's kind of a fun tool just to get play around with and check it out.